covering Southern Nevada. News 13 continues with Ross Becker, Kathy Ray, Nathan Tenenbaum with your complete forecast, and Trisha Keen with Contact 13. This is News 13 inside Las Vegas. I don't know about you. Did you hear anything strange in the air today, yesterday, Nothing whenever? Nothing strange Not than usual. No stranger than usual. You may have heard the afterburners in the air. That's right. It's time for Red Flag at Nellis once again. It really is an awesome mm -hmm. sight. That's where U.S. military aircraft simulate airstrikes over the Nevada desert. This year, though, for only the second time ever, B-2 stealth bombers have joined the fleet. Cool. 13 Inside Las Vegas reporter Dave Malkoff had an up-close look at the once super-secret weapon. Dave? Yeah, there are still parts of the stealth bomber that are top secret. For instance, we can't show you any up-close views of the backside of the stealth bomber, but we can take it inside the cockpit. Everything on this aircraft is designed to be stealthy. Welcome to the business end of the Spirit of Mississippi. Oh, wow. So this makes your Lamborghini look like a Yugo. <laughs> <laughs> what makes this aircraft unlike any other in the world? Uh, it's long range, it's large payload, it's precision capability, uh, and ability to penetrate defenses, uh, make it, and, and, and the ability for us to fly round robin from the United States. Uh, that makes it very different than any other aircraft in the world. And there it goes. We have much more for you. Coming up new tonight at 6, we'll take you closer to, closer to the stealth bomber than you've ever been before. We'll talk to the pilots and the crew about what makes this bomber invisible to radar and more inside the cockpit. And we'll also talk about how much the B-2 bomber costs. You can take your best guess and basically double it. That's all new tonight at 6 on 13 Inside Las Vegas. All right, looks cool. Success. And our top story on 13 Inside Las Vegas at 6.30, a look unlike any other inside the military's B-2 stealth bomber. If you happen to live on the valley's east side, you may have heard the jets taking off. It is time for the Red Flag War Games. And welcome back. I'm Kathy Ray. And I'm Sean Boyd. Ross Becker has the night off. For many, it's hard to tell uh, an F-16 from an F-15, but this year Nellis has a plane anyone will probably be able to recognize. 13 Inside Las Vegas reporter Dave Malkoff has this inside story. Red flag exercises happen several times a year here at Nellis Air Force Base. This is a battle simulation in the skies over Nevada. But for the first time ever, we have a chance to look at one of the premier aircraft, the Stealth Bomber. These jets are nothing new to Red Flag. The Stealth Bomber is. Everything on this aircraft is designed to be stealthy. Here for only the second time ever, it's a flying illusion, starting with its size. Uh, as you walk down here, and you get a, more of an appreciation for the size of the aircraft. It's really quite large, 178-foot wingspan. The bombs are loaded into the plane's two giant bomb bays. This is called a RLA, a, a launcher assembly. That means no bombardier. It's all controlled from up this ladder inside the cockpit. Welcome to the business end of the Spirit of Mississippi. Two very expensive seats hold her only crew. So this makes your Lamborghini look like a About Yugo. $2 billion, $2.2 <laughs> is the, uh, the advertised price, sir. That's about $115 million for each letter in the spirit of Mississippi's name. It is, however, missing a C. And just like a black car, you'll sweat inside. Uh, if it's 100 degrees outside, you can get 130, 140 up here real quick. So it's almost like sitting in a sauna. It does cool down when you're flying, but it's not built for comfort. It's built to sneak up on so you. So it's the weapon of choice to knock the or kick the door down. The outer skin reflects and absorbs radar. It's also not as noisy as other aircraft. So it's still quite loud. It makes it makes a lot of noise. Uh, we have non-afterburning engines. That's an afterburning engine, which is very loud. Other secrets are still classified, along with the entire back of the plane. National security rules limited us to the front. When the airplanes start here pretty soon, you'll get a chance to see what they look like as the flight controls come together and tighten up. It takes about an hour to fire the engines up, but once it takes off, you can see how this giant plane disappears into a razor-thin sliver, even harder to see in the black of night. We very much appreciate the uh, sacrifices that the people make of the Nellis and the Las Vegas area to let us be here. And they'll be taking off like that every day until November 9th when those stealth bombers head back to Missouri. We're on Nellis Air Force Base. I'm Dave Malkoff, 13, inside Las Vegas. Now get this, wow. the skin of the B-2 bomber, okay, is so sensitive that you can't even touch it with your bare hands, the oil that you leave behind from your hands makes it vulnerable to uh, some super sensitive radar wow. equipment. Yeah. And that particular bomber was one of the first planes to fly into Afghanistan. It's a beautiful plane. Yeah.